Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I want to show you how I created a halftone effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've been seeing this effect used in Photoshop uh, recently, and I thought, why not create this in Premiere Pro? It's basically emulating a print type effect that you see in prepress printing using dots uh, to print, except the dots are, are used predominantly so you see them. Typically in, in printing, like in a newspaper, um, you're trying to hide those dots and just make it look like a continuous tone image. But it's not, it's dots. So. Um, I'm going to make this project available for you uh, so you don't have to write down these effects because there's a complex uh, stack of, of effects and tracks and layers going on. So let me just show you why this effect in the way that I created, why it has something special in it. So if you look, you can see dots, but you can also see different size dots and you'll see dots disappear in areas with high contrast. And this is one way that that halftone dots are printed that in, in, uh, uh, brighter areas, you'll see the, the weight of the dots get smaller and smaller. So if we play, you'll see the dots are moving around and they have a certain look. Now I've, I've got a different, uh, clip here that doesn't have as much contrast. And I kept it for that reason. You can see there isn't as much contrast. So it, it doesn't look as good as the, the other one. I've got a few other examples in here, like this horse. And the horse is going to be more important later when I turn off the image and just show you the half tone. But it's still the same idea. The dots are showing up where the animal in the background is, and the background is showing the dots disappear. Then we've got our cape guy. And it even works with text. And I've got blurred text showing here in this title. I also have two clips, this one and this one, where I didn't have to isolate them. There's enough contrast on the foreground image uh, that's different from the background because I wanted to show you a very stylistic look where you can identify, oh, it's a person make, doing yoga moves or someone jumping up and down solely based on dots. You don't even see an image, you just see dots. So let's, I'm going to show you the stack that I've got going on here. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to give you this project so you don't have to make all of this. You'll see that we have a green track clip here. And this green clip is a nested clip. If you double click on it, you'll see this is where all of the clips I'm using. So all you have to do for this effect when you open up my project is just replace these clips with your own clips and uh, they'll just show up in the main uh, project. I've got the same source clips on V4 and on V2. I've got the pattern on V3, and when you open that up, you'll see I've turned every one of the patterns off except one. You can turn on all of these if you want. You can change these with different uh, other images. You can drag and drop in your own images or grunge or dots or stars or whatever, but I've given you a, here, a, a few here to play with. And then below that is also the same source clips on V2. Now below that, I've got a, a color mat, which is basically a flat solid color. I'll show you why I'm using that in, in, a, in a second, but I wanna show you all the different parts first. So the source clip on the top is just the full source clip. There's no difference going on with that. Below that with the patterns, I have two things happen. First of all, I have a blend mode set to linear light and you can experiment by changing each one of these. This will change how the dots appear on the, on the uh, image below it, on the, on the lower track. Uh, again, there's no right or wrong. It's just play around with these and see which ones you like. Below that, I've got a track mat key and it's set to Luma and it's using four, track four, as the mat. Well, that seems to be a mouthful. What the heck is that? A mat 
is a mask or an isolated area. So I'm using a copy of the clip on, on uh, V2 to mask out where the dots are. So where the brighter parts of her skin are, it's going to mask out the dots. Now I do have this reversed. So the mat is reversed. If you don't reverse it, then you'll see the dots in the lighter area and no dots in the other area. And I'll turn that back on. I also could have inverted the top, but I wanted to keep that part simple. So now that blend mode and that track mat show where the dots appear below it. So the, this source clip here is just the source clip. And I have this set to linear dodge, uh, which is an add mode. And you'll see why in a second, uh, because I'm going to have it blend in there. One thing I want to show you, let's go to the horse. If I want dots in the sky, then select the top clip and change its opacity. And you see, as I dial that opacity down, I'm, I'm basically turning the mask or the mat off. Now you'll see dots around the outside and dots around the image. Again, no right or wrong. It's just a, another choice. So what happens if I turn on the bottom layer? Now you'll see everything blended into that bottom layer. And again, if you want, you can select V2 and change this to anything you want. Normal just looks like the other one, but I had this on uh, linear dodge. And we'll go back to 100% on the top. So this is just another effect, another look. But where I think this really starts to shine is if you turn off V2 completely and you end up with a video made of halftone dots only. So it's a very stylized effect, but it's instantly recognizable as a woman's face because we have these shapes. Uh, if, again, you have to have an, enough uh, contrast. So if, if we go to the next guy, remember the, the guy I was showing you that, that didn't have a lot of contrast. You can kind of see his eye, and, and and quite frankly, if if you stand about ten feet away from your monitor, then you'll get the effect that half tone is supposed to get. Half tone is never supposed to be this this close, but you get the idea. Um, but more contrast is better. Now, one other thing I want to point out that's happening is you'll notice that when I hit play, more dots show up, and when I stop, the dots seem to shrink. That's because Premiere Pro has a default playback mode uh, when things are this complex, and you'll start to see that uh, it's almost like a, a lower quality mode. Your, your output's going to look final, but if you want to see the playback the same, then you need to turn on high quality playback. Now, these are not accelerated effects. I've got a red line. I don't have to render, but if I hit play now, you'll see that the dots don't change. It's just really, really hard to play this back. I'm gonna go back to turning this off. Remember, output is gonna look the same. So we haven't even changed the patterns yet. Let's see what it looks like when we change the pattern. Let's go to the horse, double click on the patterns, and let's turn off the big dots and turn on bold lines. So now we've got what is very recognizable as a horse once the horse turns profile and we've got these shapes. And I've, I've purposely drawn these with, with uh, tapered edges. We can go back to other ones. This is uh, bold stars. So now it's the same idea, but now it's bold stars. And you can mix these two together or mix any of these. So if I wanted lines and stars, now I've got this really coarse look going on. And if we turn on a few other ones, I've got small dots here 
And when you use the small dots, you almost don't see anything, but you can see a little bit of that. But if you turn on something else, like lines and the small dots, you can see it gives a certain edgy look to it. And the, the same with the type, it shows up. Let's go to our yoga woman. And because these are vertical slices, it doesn't really show up as much for her. So we need to pick something different for her. What about wavy lines? Wavy lines and dots, big dots. Now we've got this kind of a look. I still think she looks better as dots alone. So let me show you that. And if I turn the top down, so I'll, I'll reduce the opacity of the top. And we see a, a few more dots showing up in the background. So again, it's like dots showing up on dots and it's a very stylized look, but you're able to recognize that this is some kind of shape emerging out of the background. Now let's go turn on wavy lines. I think this one really works. So I'll turn the dots off on the bottom, turn the wavy lines. Let's look at the woman at the end, the jumping woman. Now that has a pretty cool look. Again, very recognizable as a woman jumping around, but then there's these crazy wavy lines in there. And what does it look like with some of the other clips with wavy lines? Woo! Let's go back to our horse. Oh, the horse looks good. And the last thing we can do is down at the bottom, double click on the color mat and change the color. So let's change this to a purpley color. Now we've got purple. And if you want to make it white, then it's more like a half tone, very, very bright. But you get the idea. So there you go. You're not going to use this for every video, but any place that you want a very super stylized look, either with the dots over top of the video so you can recognize it or just the dots or just the lines. Remember, grab any black and white dot pattern grunge thing and stick it in the in the patterns um, sequence and start playing around with things in there. Mix and match, do whatever you want. In fact, the patterns themselves could be animated. I didn't even try putting videos in the patterns and have the patterns working on top. This is, you can spend all day long having fun with this. I, I really enjoyed playing with this and creating this effect. Ho hopefully you'll like it too. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us more, you can do that through our store. And that's where I'm going to have this. So jump on over to videoreveal.com slash shop. This is where you can um, support us, donate once or monthly, you can download these and a bunch of other things. And we've got split screens and titles and lots of stuff. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to bring the uh, crazy world of the print halftone into your video project.